You don't need an appointment and you don't need to be a techie to set up and activate your Midco internet services. This video covers how to install the Hytron CGNM2250 wireless modem. To get started, you'll need these items from Midco. Your modem, a coax cable, a power cord, and an ethernet cable, which is optional and needed only if you're doing a non-wireless connection. You'll also need your own Wi-Fi enabled laptop, smartphone, or another device to connect to the internet. Start by looking at the label on the back of your Hytron modem. Take a photo of the label with the smartphone or write down these details. The default network name or SSID. There are two of them, one for a 2.4 GHz signal and one for a 5 GHz signal. Also, be sure you capture the passphrase. This is your modem's default wireless password. Next, pick a good central location in your home for your modem. It's best to place it up high and off the floor, in a spot where it can get good air circulation and where it's away from other wireless devices. Also, your modem should be near an active cable wall outlet. Not all in-home cable outlets are active. Now it's time to start plugging things in. Connect the coax cable from the wall outlet to your modem's cable connection. Then plug the power cord into your modem and into an electrical outlet. Make sure all connections are finger tight. If your power outlet can be turned off by a light switch, be sure the switch is set to on. Next, wait up to 15 minutes for the online light to appear steady green. When the modem is connected, the online light on the front of the modem will stop flashing and remain steady green. Having trouble? If your online light isn't on or remains flashing after 15 minutes. Here are a few quick things to check. First, make sure you're using the coax cable that came with your modem and that the connections are finger tight. Also, when you first plug into power, the power light should show a steady green. If not, try a different power outlet. Once your online light is solid green, it's time to connect to Wi-Fi. Remember the default Wi-Fi network details from the label earlier. You'll need those now. This Hytron modem broadcasts two Wi-Fi signals. One network is a 2.4 GHz signal. The other is a 5 GHz signal, which is newer technology. Both networks use the same default passphrase. That's your Wi-Fi password. Most newer devices can detect both Wi-Fi signals. Connect just one device, such as a smartphone, tablet, or laptop to your default Wi-Fi network. Each device is a little different, but generally you should go to your device settings and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. Find and select the default network for your modem. If your device shows your network name with 5G at the end of it, choose and connect to that. If not, select the other Wi-Fi network. Enter your modem's default passphrase as your password. Next, connect to or join the network. You'll know you're connected when your device displays a wireless network symbol or indicates it's connected. Open your web browser and visit a public website such as midco.com. If the site loads, you're successfully connected. You've already connected one device to the network, but before you connect other devices, you may want to add more security by changing the default network name and password to something that's unique to you. Here's how. On your connected device, go to your web browser and enter 192.168.0.1. Select Enter or Return. On the Hytron login page, enter your username as CUS Admin. Be sure to use all lowercase letters. For the password, enter the word password. This should also be all lowercase. Select Login. On the new page, go to the top menu or use the menu icon for mobile devices. Choose Wireless. Important, do not select the Wireless tab lower on the screen because you can't edit Wi-Fi details there. You'll arrive on the Wireless Settings page under Basic Settings. On the tabs for 2.4G and 5G, enter your new Wi-Fi network name. This should be the same for both signals, but be sure to add 5G at the end of that network name. For your password, you can create the same one for both networks too. You just need to enter and save it on both tabs. Make your password memorable and personal to you, but difficult for others to guess. You can even make your network name fun and punny to share with your guests. Write down your new Wi-Fi name and password so you have it for your other devices. After you save the changes, your modem will automatically disconnect from the previous Wi-Fi network. Next, go to your device's Wi-Fi settings and connect using the new Wi-Fi network name and password. Double check that you've chosen the modem's Wi-Fi network and you're not using your mobile or cellular data. 
open your web browser and visit a public website, such as midco.com. If the site loads, you're successfully connected. Need to get more devices on your new Wi-Fi? Just go to your device's settings for Wi-Fi. Use the new customized Wi-Fi name and password you created. To find device-specific steps, refer to midco.com slash Wi-Fi support. What about a direct wired connection to gaming systems or desktop computer? Just plug the Ethernet cord into your modem and the device. You should be good to go. But what if you're having problems getting connected at all? Here are some troubleshooting tips. Take a look at the lights on the front of your modem. Is the online light not turning solid green after 15 minutes? Try to plug into other cable outlets. Not all home cable outlets are active. Then wait 10 minutes to see if the modem connects. If you've tried multiple outlets and still can't connect, contact Midco Support. Troubleshooting Tip 2. If the modem doesn't light up, or if the online light is solid but the modem isn't connecting, reboot the modem. Just unplug the power cord, wait for 30 seconds and plug it back in. Wait for the online light to stop flashing and remain solid green. Restart your computer or other device and try opening a website in your browser. If you see both of these lights blinking in unison, your modem is loading an update, even if it's new. This can take up to 60 minutes, so feel free to check back in a bit. When the update has successfully completed, the online light will show solid green. That means it's time to connect to your default Wi-Fi network. With one device, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect using the Wi-Fi network name and password. Try visiting a public website. If it loads, you're successfully connected. If the online light is still blinking green after 60 minutes, reboot your modem. Just unplug the power cord, wait 30 seconds, and plug it back in. Then give it up to 60 minutes for a complete reboot and update. Once your online light is solid green, that means it's time to connect to your default Wi-Fi network. With one device, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect using the Wi-Fi network name and password. Try visiting a public website. If it loads, you're successfully connected. And here's another troubleshooting tip. If you've tried everything else and the online light is still blinking, it's time to try a factory reset. With your modem still powered on, press and hold the reset button found on the back of the modem for 10 seconds. You need a pen or paper clip to push it. Lights will begin to flash to show they're restarting the connection process. Once your online light is solid green, that means it's time to connect to your default Wi-Fi network. If you have questions, visit our online support at midco.com slash modem support. Here you can find modem resources and how to reach our customer service team via chat, text, social media, and phone.